So one of the most challenging parts about this early kind of relationship forming stage is probably that you just don't know or it's hard to know where you're at in terms of how that person is going to be in your life and how that relationship might potentially develop. This is particularly tricky when you meet someone that you really, really like. So I just want to say a couple of things about getting you into a better headspace around this to enable you to pace the relationship better and deal with the inevitable unknowns that come with dating. Now, I've seen quite a few YouTube videos out there on the lines of, you know, how to tell on the first day if someone's looking for commitment. Now, I kind of feel like, first of all, again, we're, we're failing that test there of we're immediately looking for commitment rather than compatibility. And you have to establish compatibility before commitment is even a question for you. Also, we're, again, we're, it's kind of looking for this other person to accept and approve of us. And I can understand why the temptation for that is. And it's because when we meet someone, particularly someone we're attracted to, dealing with the unknown of who knows what this relationship is going to be. Is it going to be a friendship? Is it going to be a passionate short-term relationship? Is it going to be something long-lasting? In fact, when we just go, actually, I don't even really know who this person is. I need to spend more time getting to know them. That's not a very satisfactory answer. So what we instead tend to do is reflect on the limited time we've spent with the person, maybe scroll a bit through their social media account and come to a conclusion about who they are as a person. You could be like, oh, you know, she seems like a really nice woman. I think that she's really warm. I can see that she'd be really good to be as a girlfriend or you know what, he just seems like he's really into me. I can see that he's probably the kind of guy that wants commitment. Whenever we start to think this way, we have to do a big stop. Because again, what we're doing here is we're slipping into that relationship forming trap of when we meet someone, instead of doing the due diligence to get to know them, instead of spending the hours with them, which are the data points to work out who they are, we want to kind of complete our incomplete image of them by kind of idealizing them in our, in our minds. And of course, the problem is, as we go through the relationship, generally speaking, that image that we have of them isn't necessarily going to neatly line up with how they behave towards you in real life and in the real world, which is where we live and where I want your relationships to be doing great. So to do this, instead of trying to overanalyze things at the start, and yes, I mean, no WhatsApp groups of friends, no watching endless dating advice videos, Instead, what's probably the most important thing for you to realize is when you're at the start of dating is just to go, you know what, I'm actually a little bit in the unknown and that's okay. Like I can't possibly know what this person is all about and what they might be looking for because we've just met. Because that relationship forming stage does require a bit of a leap of faith. So what can you do if you're really overly focusing on them and maybe, you know, it's been a couple of days and they haven't sent you a message back. My first line of defense here is getting used to engaging with your phone less. So that can mean instead of looking at their phone, hoping and waiting that they might message you or seeing if they watching your stories on social media, I would advise honestly having some lo-fi time. Put your phone onto airplane mode or switch it off, leave it in another room and go and do something so you can actually connect to yourself more. All of these things help to reconnect you to the present and help you to not be tempted to try to solve that uncertainty with you know, over analyzing someone's messages or kind of looking them up on Google. That's not going to help. The second thing I want you to do is to come from a space of giving trust. Now, this can be challenging, um, especially if you've had times in the past where your trust has been misplaced. However, it's good to go back to the idea that actually most people want the same things and most people are actually, you know, generally trying to do the right thing by other people. Sometimes we have slightly different approaches to dating between men and women. Sometimes messages get a bit mixed up and confused. Because of this, I know it can be challenging to give that trust. However, I want you to try because it's been shown through studies that actually in relationships where you believe the best in the person that you're dating and you do give that trust, they generally do better. Now, that's not to say that you are ignorant and you ignore the fact they haven't been in touch for a week or they've been totally inconsistent. However, if you're not experiencing those red flags, I want you to come from a space of not only giving them trust, but also trusting in yourself. Third thing that I want to bring up is also about the importance of pacing that relationship. So by pacing the relationship, I mean that you're not kind of jumping in with two feet. Instead, you're trying to take things a little bit more at a calm and relaxed pace. Now, ideally, I tend to advise people to see each other 
once a week for the first month and then kind of build it up a little bit from there. This is because I'm a real believer that the slow and steady tortoise sometimes does win the race. Sometimes if we allow ourselves to kind of suddenly cancel on our friends and start ditching that fitness class, we might be letting go of the pillars in our lives that are really giving us a lot of stability and are really propping up our self-esteem. And if we immediately collapse all our boundaries when someone attractive comes along, we're not also really demonstrating that we want to have relationships that are built on a respect for our time, are built on trust and built on a real sense of connection between the two of you.